Hello, comrades. Welcome back to Workers and Resources. Soviet Republic, my name, of course, is Open Potato. That's right. Okay, I, jumping back into things, uh, where are we at the moment? Well, I, I gotta be honest, everything is looking pretty darn good. We are almost, dare I say, almost done uh, with the construction of our second hydroelectric power plant, which is very, very exciting. Uh, if perhaps uh, a little bit redundant, but at least it's going to allow us to increase our uh, our consistent energy output to the Soviet side of the map. That's very, very exciting. The steel mill uh, over in Stalnoy, if I just uh, scroll over there, is going absolutely, absolutely gangbusters and has been doing so for a pretty significant period of time. However, I'm just noticing right now that we are a little bit low on the old iron. Which I suspect that means, yep, we're gonna need a few more, we're gonna need a few more workers working in the iron mine uh, up at the top. So let's adjust that ever so slightly. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. And that should remedy the situation if we're able to get a few more, uh, if we're able to get a few more workers up to the top of the the Iron Excavia Hill, which is which is quite exciting. Uh, consistently, we are able to make enough steel to export very, very, very large quantities, and that is actually kind of the focus of what I want to do uh, over the course of, uh, of of this episode, for sure. We're going to want to try and improve Stalnoy as much as we possibly can. Obviously, we're going to continue with our uh, with our with our tried and tested strategy of, of buying high and selling low. I mean, it seems to be working, it's it's just adding a few extra rubles to the bank. But to be honest, look at this, look at this, look at the bottom line here. Look at the bottom line, we're halfway through July, and that's that's just insane money. That's just absolutely insane money. Uh, dollars do not represent a threat at all, we're, we're totally fine in terms of the amount of dollars that we're able to make. It's just rubles, and even rubles, I, I, I want to say, we're, we're pretty much there on. Anyway couple of really 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 exciting projects that I want to that I want to start on today and uh, I think everyone in the comments of the last video is also equally enthusiastic for me to, to for me to start production uh, on said projects so I did kind of talk a little bit about oh no 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 oh yeah yeah we yeah I didn't really I forgot about this one oh yeah that's my bad okay you know what just do me uh, do me a little uh, a little favorite video game Disconnect that, disconnect that. Let this thing burn down and then we'll just rebuild it. Ah, there's no way, there's no way around it. It's middle of July, no issues there whatsoever. We can actually probably get this in a slightly better position. Maybe to allow it to be connected by road this time. That would be honestly a bit of a plus. Also, let me see if I can relocate a couple of these peeps out of this house and maybe we can stick a road in uh, over here that's connected to a heating station or a heating uh, a heat exchanger. That's the, the technical term. Oh, yes, I forgot how unbelievably awful it is to place down one of these buildings. Uh, if I hold shift, no, control, alt, no, uh, there is, there is no way, there is no way to see, there is no way to see what is below this, this hot mess. It's fine, it's fine. Move, uh, move a couple of people out of here. Uh, residential building is full. Move people out. All right, well, I'm just going to demolish it then if we can't move people out. Because apparently I'm going to need plenty of space to plonk down this heat exchanger thing. Anyway, the exciting stuff that we're going to be doing over this uh, over this episode is kind of twofold, to be honest. It's kind of twofold. Because as we get closer to... Oh my goodness, I can't even see. It's just so difficult. To, it's so difficult to see what the heck is happening. Okay, I, I think I'm going to demolish this house too. There we go. Demolish that one as well. Give me more space. We're going to need it anyway. So, don't worry about it. Uh, anyway, yes, exciting stuff over the course of this episode. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. I, you know what, I don't think that we actually need to auto-build this. I think that we might be able to get away with... ...with letting this, uh, letting this get built over the course of time. There we go. It's gonna take a little while, so I might auto-build the roads. But then, I think we should be just fine to, to build the heat exchanger manually. What's going on here? That's a very, very key bit of infrastructure that's just been set on fire there, so I'm going to sincerely hope that we're going to be able to put that one out. Anyway, again, getting back to getting back, back to, to brass tacks, what are we going to be doing today? Well, a couple of things. First of all, I would like to start, I would like to start construction of a brand new area, which is hopefully going to be where we build uh, a whole bunch of vehicles. Now, I think in an ideal world, 
in an ideal world, I'd like to make the vehicle, uh, the vehicle construction areas somewhere near a border. Because at this present moment in time, if, for example, if we want to build a, I don't know, say a vehicle production line, sure, the vehicle, vehicle production line specifically for, uh, specifically for cars, right? So if we want to build it, it's probably better going at the border right over here because we're going to need to import so many resources. We're going to need to get plastics, mechanical components, uh, electronic components, electrics, and fabric. We're not making any of that stuff. So it's probably best if it goes next to a border so that we can import things about as cheaply as possible. Uh, and in that same vein, it's probably best that it goes next to a western border. Given that we actually have an appropriate uh, amount of, uh, of western funds and western, uh, western income. However, I did kind of consider down in this corner here. The reason being is that I do kind of want it to be close to the to the Soviet border as well. Because, I mean, we want to export to, to both borders. But I I think that this area is probably probably the, the best place for, uh, for what we're after. The reason being is that, as I've already mentioned, I really would like, I really would like, I really would like this to be as close to the border as possible to keep import costs down. Let's let's plan for this over here, sure. Uh, we want to get railway production as well. Railway production should probably go at the end. Yeah, give me, give me airplane production here. They do not need to be connected together. Uh, we also need a, like, absurdly large amount of flat space, which is honestly really only available in this specific area. I also, I also wonder, is this going to be within construction range? If this isn't within construction range, I will be very, very upset. I tell you what, in order to in order to try and facilitate the construction of these buildings here, let's create a let's create an express road all the way across there, and then let's get that built too. Okay, so that should increase the range of the construction offices. If they need, if it needs to be increased, it probably doesn't need to be. But you never know. It, it can't hurt to, to add a more direct connection there, especially when it's basically free for us to do so, uh, which is very exciting indeed. Okay, anyway, right, vehicle production building here. Vehicle production building is not the priority. The priority is getting down the airplane production building because the airplane production building is brand new and it's going to use a whole bunch of uh, aluminium, which we're very excited to hopefully very soon be producing uh, somewhat locally. So very, very excited uh, about that. Look at the size of this thing as well. This thing is a monster. And what do we import here? It's the same sort of stuff. Electronic components, electrics, fabrics. Yeah, I, I wonder if there's perhaps a way. I wonder if there's perhaps a way to maybe stick down a central connection point. You know, something like this, right? So we do... We do something like this. Are we, are we able to find... Be able to find a connection here uh you know what let's do let's do something like this let's do something like this just roll with me on this one roll with miss this be on this one here folks uh so yeah factory connection in there like so excellent again i'm kind of hoping that all of this is within build range otherwise it's going to be a disaster to build vehicle production line next vehicle production line is i guess much easier to squeeze down yeah something like that over here perhaps I don't I really do not want to connect it up to the front but we'll do we'll do something like that and then we'll find maybe a, a route around the the back here yeah I mean look if we need to get if we need to get uh, you know forklifts on this on this circuit then so be it that's also it's also not as efficient as I would kind of like it to be I just forgot for a second there the main requirement is to try and make sure that this is all of these buildings are as cozy with the border as is physically possible. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me turn on uh, let me turn on the terrain modification just for a second here. You know what? I, I will actually fund that. I think. Can we move it perhaps a little bit more? Yeah. Okay. Let's do. Let's do something like that there. Wonderful. Okay, so we're not auto building it again. Remember, we're just doing, just doing the uh, the terrain modification with the the tool. Okay, so that's fine thus far. Don't forget, potato, that you're going to need to move vast numbers of people out this way. So we need to make sure that we incorporate a train station at some point or somewhere uh, in the 
in the whole process. I mean, the number of people that are required. In fact, maybe we get a big train station here, honestly. I feel like maybe a big train station is actually kind of justified, but... Let's stick with a small one for now. Stick with a small one for now. Yeah, that's fine. And then walk range, we'll get this all... We'll get this all hooked up in a sec. I'm gonna use the best of the best. Build asphalt road with, uh... With streetlights? Yes, please. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. We don't need trolley buses. Trolley buses are trash. There we go. Look at that. Okay, this is gonna be the first sort of techno hub of my empire. There we go. So that looks a little uh, a little squint. I'll uh, I'll grant you a little squint, just a smidge, just a smidge squint. There we go. That looks a smidge less squint. But that's only two. That's only two of the four construction facilities that I actually want to get down here. Uh, what's next? Railway production line? Now, we've already got this sort of central hub over here. I think we continue, to be honest. I think we continue. The only issue that I have with this area... The only issue that I have with this area is that it's going to cost a little bit of money to terraform. Admittedly. Not exactly enthusiastic about that. Also, not entirely sure if it's within walk range of the train station. We may have to move the train station a smidge. But you know what? For now, let's just concentrate on getting the... On getting the... Uh, I need flat terrain. That's fine. There we go. Let's concentrate on finding the perfect space. There we go. And you know what? To be honest, if this is costing a couple of dollar redos, then that's, then that's all right with me. Okay, turn off the auto builds. And rotate this around. Find the space. Excuse me? Uh, I thought there was... I thought there was a perfect... Oh, there we go. There is a perfect place. Okay. So that gets undone. Easy. Right. So now we gotta readdress... Now we gotta readdress where the train station is. Train station's probably gonna have to move to be a little bit more central. Yeah. Train station's probably gonna have to move to be, like, right around here. We can probably... We can probably link up some sort of path system over this way. And something like that. Yeah, you know what? Maybe the train station doesn't actually need to move altogether too much. But what we are going to have to do is we are going to have to take a bulldozer over there. We're going to have to find an appropriate factory connection. There we go. Something like this is, is perfect, actually. And then... Yeah, we're going to have to get a modded road connection in here. Thank goodness that we actually have the facilities to do this. Oh, what's it called? Um, oh, goodness gracious me. Now, that's that's the that's the real question. Hold on. Uh, forklift facility? Yes, that's it. It's a forklift facility. Can you believe it? It's a forklift facility. All right. Beautiful. That's excellent. Brilliant. You'll love to see it. That is incredible. And then, to keep to keep the good vibes coming, let's get uh, let's get something like that over there, like so. Okay, so that's great. And you know what this means? It means that we still have the the capability to hopefully link up a railway line, which I know it's saying that we can't actually do at this moment in time, but I guarantee uh, we can do if I just try a little bit. Okay, apparently not, perhaps. Uh, okay, well, you know what? It's a it's a darn good thing that I that I checked this beforehand, eh? Otherwise, we'd be in some. Well, I'm I'm not saying serious trouble, but uh, but it would be a little bit of a pain in the backside to, to deal with a little bit later down the line. That's looking that's looking not too bad. Excellent. And then the paths. Yep, it's just a simple case of linking the paths back up together. So now we got to sort of eyeball it, right? We got to eyeball it. Where do we think that the railway would be best situated? I mean, probably, probably, probably like here, perhaps. The only issue is, of course, that there is going to be some sort of conflict with the, with the cargo line that's eventually going to go down here. But, I mean, I don't think that that can really be avoided. Yeah, I, I think we'll just leave that there. That's that's fine. Okay, other considerations need to go to the warehouse because we're going to need a warehouse in here. And the warehouse is pretty important for 
uh, holding stuff like fabrics and uh, and the like, so we'll, we'll just bash that down. I don't really think that this is a super difficult consideration, to be honest. Yep, happy for that to go there, happy for it to be linked up to the to the factory network, which is quite exciting. Uh, okay, now, now here's the, here's the big one. Here's the big one, and I'm not really entirely sure on how we do this. <laughs> Because I did say that there were four. There were four facilities, four engineering inventories, uh, or engineering industries, I should say, and there are four production lines. Uh, the last production line is a dry dock. And I am kind of determined that there is going to be a dry dock in here somewhere. And I have absolutely no idea why I'm so determined that that would be the case. But I'm determined that we get a dry dock in here. I know that sounds, like, insane, but I sincerely want to make this happen. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do in the first instance. Give me a give me a construction facility. Just a, a regular basic construction facility, which I maybe should have done. I maybe should have done this a little while ago, but it's it's fine. Alright. We'll do this. We'll buy a couple of excavators, we'll buy a couple of bulldozers. I it's a feasibility study, I think is is what they is what they call it. Four and one, two, three, four. Yeah, so super cheap, and we can, you know, we can reallocate these uh, these machines at some point later on if we want to. I think, I think digging a big well here would be kind of exciting. The only problem is, can I actually get down to the water table here? I sincerely don't even know if this is possible. I think it might be, but I don't know if it's just like one of these weird things where you have to dig such a large hole that it kind of becomes... Let me just do it with dollars. It kind of becomes impossible. It's possible. It's so totally possible. Okay, so we basically need to get an absolutely massive hole. Uh, but the other problem is, of course, like where on earth do we root this? Where on earth do we root? the boats because we can build the boats but after that we need to try and sell them and the, i think the answer is i think the answer is that we want to root them into the you know we want to root them into the main river somehow but there is no connection to the main river i mean this is miles away it's so far away it's so far away dude it's so far away right level height from set no 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 i must say i'm surprised at how quick that was I almost really want to spend the dollars to make it go that quick, but unfortunately I don't have them. This is a this is a totally wasted effort, isn't it? I'm making zero progress. Okay, let's not worry about that altogether too much at this moment in time. Let's not worry about that at all, actually. This this road is looking good. In fact, marvelous progress is being made. Anyway, I think that you can see you can kind of see what I'm after. You can kind of see what I'm after. You know what? Please. I hope my accountant forgives me. I hope my accountant forgives me. Go big or go home. That's what we say. That's what we say where I'm from. Okay, this is actually like remarkably inexpensive. He says, stomaching a 1.5. 1.5? 1. No, 150,000 uh, dollar expense. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Okay, so the dry dock at the end of the day. This is <laughs> this is ridiculous. Look at the angle. Look at the angle here. Okay, we need to we need to soften this a little bit. I think. No, no, no. Maybe we can do. No, no, no. Hold on. What? Where did all my uh, where did all my vehicles go? Oh, they've all gone to they've all gone to fill up at the local at the local gas station. Okay, well, we'll wait for them to come back, and then we'll work on this. I mean, all we need to do, really, is to extend this a smidge, and then lower this, lower this so there's not sort of a sheer cliff face drop there. And then, uh, something that I'm probably going to do off camera is, I suspect, create a river, an artificial river. This is very Soviet, actually. An artificial river all the way down to a lake, and then we need to connect this lake back up to the main river. It is going to be an absolute trek for these boats to go around, but at the end of the day, I think that this is probably the cheapest way uh, of going about fixing things. 
sincerely, I think this is actually pretty exciting. Uh, the other thing that we sort of need to consider is where is the... Nope, not there. Uh, where is the... Where's the track going to come from? How are we going to link it all up together? Uh, we got a couple of options here. First and foremost, we could set up a brand new train station somewhere. Alternatively, we could just link up the existing train station and sort of double draw from the Disneyland of supply, uh, supply route. So that's an option there for sure. Uh, you know, whether or not... I want to do that, I guess we'll see. Also, I'm going to stop importing steel. I don't know if we've been doing that much over the past while, but uh, let's stop doing that if, if there's no reason to continue to do it. This area is looking great, apart from the fact that we don't have any prefab panels. Bit of a shame. How are our deaths looking? Oh my goodness, look at that. Deaths are super duper low. Everyone has a house. Everyone has a house. A lot of people are educated. That's good. That's what we like to see. Did I get that party uh, headquarters down? I did. I did, actually. That's that's good stuff. That's good stuff. I think that this area is working... Yeah, Kolovskysky is looking... It's looking decent, actually. It's looking really decent. I mean, there's still a couple of houses that have got a couple of people there. But, I mean, this whole this whole thing's looking looking good. Uh, we do need a pub slash tavern over here, which I will try and, I will try and rectify immediately. I appreciate... I appreciate how much my, my population needs access to, to alcohol. I mean, to be honest, if I lived in my country, I too would be would be just as desperate for a for a strong drink on the on the regular. There we go, and footpaths. I think that we can connect this up with a footpath and I think it'll get built. Famous last words. There we go. Looks like it's looks like it's working. Excellent. Uh, ooh. That's maybe a bit of a, a bit of an issue. Not sure if there's a loud, if we're, if we're going to be able to walk through. Not sure if we're going to be able to walk through the bus stop in order to get to the pub. Hmm. Either way, look, at least it's all working. At least it's all working. At least we're building, at least we're building stuff. At least the coal power plant is working. At least the large coal power plant is being constructed. That's exciting news. Uh, the railway is being built slowly but surely, which is great. How did I run out of dollars? How did I run out of dollars? Hold up. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Uh, I shouldn't have run out of dollars. My, my big old... My big old steel train is probably heading to the border right now. Yeah, literally about to refill. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I know we're technically out of dollars, but yeah, you know, this is a good excuse for a bridging loan, eh? Good excuse for a bridging loan. Give me, like, I don't know, 100,000, 100,000, 0 0.5 years. That's all we need it for. I mean, look, we'd still be in a fine situation if it wasn't for the whole little expenditure of $150,000 in order to, you know, terraform a little bit of land. Either way, that'll pretty much tide us, tide us over. Yeah. That's fine. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And speaking of, speaking of steel exports, how are we doing in terms of iron here? We're doing good. We're doing good. Everything is looking, everything is looking just fine. Uh, we're not quite processing enough iron. So for that reason, I think we probably want to restart construction of the ore processing plant number two. And we also probably want to restart construction. Did construction ever stop? No, construction never stopped at this area. So why on earth have we not made any progress? It's a wonderful question. It's a wonderful question. Either way, uh, we're making we're making good progress on the uh, on the iron front, which is great. There was a fire at a cafe or a bar in Disneylandovsk, but apparently it's been put out, which is great. So I don't need to care about that even slightly. Uh, hey, look at this! The hydropower plant is almost up and running. We need steel. We need mechanical components, both of which are available. Readily, in fact, uh, we're gonna have to import mechanical components because there is no other way around it. But I mean, that's fine for now, I guess. The roads looking good. This area is starting to really come together, to be honest. And also, just uh, just in the nick of time, eh? Look at that! All of our bulldozers have been have been finished, or have been finished, have been finished, finished with their mission to refuel, which is kind of a lame thing to say, but that's that's okay. Uh, right, so can I see if we can just maybe take this 
this height down a little bit. I have, like, no idea what sort of height we require for this, for this dry dock. But I'm excited to actually see how it works. I'm gonna, I'm excited to see if we actually can make it work. I think that that's honestly still probably too high. Yeah, maybe something like this. Is this height maybe appropriate? I, I just don't want to, you know, drag too much of the water back up. You know what I mean? I don't want to... I mean, we, we spent such a large amount of money sticking the water all the way down. Digging this great big hole. And now we're going to build it back up again. Also, you know what I'm kind of realizing right now? Uh, what we can do, what we can do, and what I probably should have done originally, instead of auto-importing at all of the facilities, as I was initially considering, we should just auto-import at this open storage facility and this warehouse here, which means that we should probably have the open storage facility and the warehouse, like, literally right on the border. I mean... When I say literally right on the border, I, I mean right on the border. I don't know why I didn't consider this in the first instance. Because that way, we can kind of keep everything... We can kind of keep everything as low... Uh, as low priced as possible. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's fine. Although... We're going to need to get... We're going to, need to demolish this and we're going to need to replace it with a modded connection. Actually, of two varieties, to be honest. We're going to need a factory rail connection in there. And then this is going to also need to be a factory road connection in here, which should be just fine. Yeah. What do you know? Too sharp of a turn? I don't believe it, video game. Come on. Really? Really, my dude? Really? Oh, that's that's a swizz. That's that's nonsense. I was so optimistic for a second there. Okay. What about uh, what about that? That will definitely work. Hundred percent orbital potato guarantee. The orbital potato guarantee is good. Some other infrastructure is in the way. Okay, well, we'll build it in two bits. There we go, and there we go. Actually works out quite well. Actually works out quite well, all things considered. Uh, getting a warehouse down over here, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I, I kind of envisioned maybe the warehouse going somewhere. Somewhere on the border. Somewhere on the border over here, perhaps? It's a bit tight, isn't it? We could move... We could move the railway production line, but the railway production line has kind of been already situated in a really, really nice position. I think what I prefer is something like this here. Outside map borders. Yep. There we go. Yeah, I, d I don't necessarily think that this is a bad place for it, to be honest. As long as it's as near the border as it can be, then there won't be any issues. Uh, even the factory connections, they don't really present too much of a problem, given that we have the capability to do road crossovers, which we are absolutely going to take advantage of. It's going to be a little bit of a nightmare to supply this entire... to supply this entire facility. I'll, I'll grant you that. I'll grant you that. Um, okay, maybe I've bitten off a little bit more than I can chew here. Mm. Okay, this has got to work. This this will definitely work. This will definitely work. It's going to look a little bit ugly, though. Too sharp of a turn. Don't worry about it. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm asking for trouble here. Alright, well, this is something that I should have theoretically considered earlier, but, uh... Hey, it works! All of my, all of my sins are forgiven. Excellent. It's good stuff. 
next. Next is. Next is finding the route over here. Oh, I don't really want to break construction of this road. But to be honest, if I have to, then I have to. If I have to, then I have to. Let's uh, let's break only the bits that I need to break. There we go. All right. Thankfully, the good news, the good news about all of this, the good news about all of this is that it's rare. It's rare to need the resources that we're going to be picking up in here in this uh, in this warehouse. And put it this way, we're going to be prioritizing production of aircraft anyway, which is like the important thing. Also, I'm not leaving much space for vehicle output here, I, I know, but uh, you know what, that's a future potato problem. That's a future potato problem. Right. I think we do this. We do this. This is <laughs> this is quickly turning. This is quickly turning from a well-planned a well-planned operation into uh, a disaster, a disastrous oversight that is just waiting to happen. There is going to be one, there's going to be one bad connection. I'm not going to spot it until it's too late, and it's going to be disastrous. But for now, for now it's fine. I actually think that, you know, all things considered, maybe the most irritating aspect is, like, the walking distance. But even, even that, I think, should be totally fine. I mean, that's, look, the, the difference, the distance between the train station and the airline production line is, is fine. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. How the bleeding heck do I get... Uh, how the bleeding heck do I get aircraft out of this out of this facility? I don't know. I've never built aircraft before. I've never built aircraft before. And it's going to be... It's going to be a bit of a nightmare doing so. Anyway, uh, now that I'm in, you know, just, just hell, apparently. Let's see if we can try and push through in order to... In order to try and in order just to try and get us across the line here, uh, it needs to be a bit longer. It needs to be a bit longer. And by by that I mean I mean the puddle of water that I've created, which is still not very deep, but apparently is deep enough. looking pretty good. Maybe make it a little bit deeper at this end, too. There we go. See, look at this. This is looking fairly respectable. Yeah. Okay, then we take this down a little bit. Okay, looking good. Looking good. I honestly think that this might end up working. Uh, believe it or not, I think this is... I think this is just what we're after. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to build this right now. Because I suspect that much like the hydroelectric plant, it's going to take a lot of dithering and a lot of fixing in order to get it uh, in proper working order. But I will say, you know, as a foundation, this is this is looking pretty... this is looking pretty okay. Oh my god, it's actually so close to working. It's actually so freaking close to working. I cannot believe that I'm about to build... Cannot believe that I'm about to build a freaking... Excuse me? No, down. Go down. You need to go down. Oh, I really want to just change over to auto build using dollars and just sort of buckle down and, and do the, the last of the build. Uh, but at the same time, I know that it's the financially responsible thing to do to... To do it myself. To do it myself. And to, to that extent, I think I, I have to I have to do it. Alright. Try again. Try again with the build in just a second. I'm surprised at how deep I'm allowed to go. Is it working? Oh my goodness. It's like millimeters away from working. Oh, it's... Okay, so it's all working apart from this corner up here. 
level height from center. We take this, we drag it over here, and we bring this down. It's actually a super easy fix, all things considered. Uh, we also haven't run out of money quite yet. Not entirely sure what the loan book is saying. Uh, we'll have a little look at that in just a sec. But for now, I would love to be able to get my, my dry dock down here. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that I've actually managed to make this happen. What the heckity heck? Uh, okay. In a hilarious turn of events, uh, we've now got a dry dock sitting in the middle of nowhere. Oh, you love to see it. And you know what? It's within range of everything. It's... It's fine. It's all looking good, to be honest. It's all looking good. The only issue that I can kind of foresee... Is... Yeah, this sort of length issue here. Um... Yeah, the best way of going about fixing that. I'm not entirely sure. Let's take this back. Take this back. Take this back. And we'll build a uh, we'll build a road in here. Uh, also, I am acutely aware of the fact that I am, you know, technically out of money. It's very, it's a very bad place to be. But we'll we'll address that in just a second. Uh, you know, pretty sure that too steep of a descent. That's ah, a what a swizz, what a swizz. But it's okay now that we've got the the darn thing built. Uh, I don't really care about terrain modification. This is absolutely fine to to fix. There we go. Just like so. Works like a charm. Works like a charm. Works like a ch you video game. You said you said that was possible, video game. Why would you lie to me like that? Why would you lie to me like that? No, you're you're There we go. Okay, now you're telling the truth. Excellent. Uh, let's also get a road connection over here. There we go. I can make the terrain modifications myself. Okay, let's use the average tool for, well, perhaps the first time ever, legitimately. I say that. it's That's not. I use the average tool from time to time. It's just the least useful of all the tools, like without a doubt in my mind. All right, there you go. We actually, wow, we've actually done it. I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's it's here. It's happening before your very eyes. Uh, we have a setup. We have a setup. Now, we need to get a couple of uh, a couple of extra like forklift facilities and whatnot. Uh, those forklift facilities can probably head out like over here. We need to still get the the railway line set up. But actually, weirdly, I think that I've left enough space to make somewhat of a circular route here. So, if I'm able to do, yeah, something like this, then we're going to be able to curve it around and just go in whatever direction we really want, to be honest. Uh, I'm not going to spend any cash on that. Uh, how's my how's my, my loan situation looking? And why are we not exporting steel? And how is my population doing? How are the deaths doing? Deaths are totally fine. We don't need to worry about deaths. Steel. Yeah, steel train is about to leave the station, actually. Well, that's good. Well, you know what? This is a good excuse for a little bridging loan, I suppose, isn't it? Good excuse for a little bridging loan. 3.7% rate of interest? Sure, I'll I'll do that. I'll I'll pay that. I'll pay that fee. I mean, look, this is all going really, really good. This is all going brilliantly good. Everything is looking is looking up. Uh, what's the rate of interest that we're being offered on a two million a two million ruble loan? 6.7%. Uh, that's actually a fairly attractive rate. I haven't seen 6.7 in a good long time. Yeah, I haven't seen 6.7 in a while. I almost feel like maybe it's worth us investing in, uh, in 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 another couple of ruble loans. That might be that might be quite helpful. Uh, speaking of quite helpful, is the hydro power plant built? Oh my goodness, it is! It is! It is! It is! Okay, two things need to happen now, and uh, they both need to happen eh, not necessarily super quickly, but the sooner the better, really. Uh, first of all, we need to get this area built, and second of all, we need to divert the buses to deliver to both of the hydro power plants. Second of all, on top of that original thing, uh, we need to we need to change this high voltage wire. So instead of going to the bitumen plant, we are now just going to connect this up directly. There we go. It's the quickest, cheapest fix that I can really consider. 
And also, can I connect this up via road? Yeah, I just want to make sure that we don't ever have a fire that ends up completely torpedoing my my exports. Uh, anyway, the point is, is that we should now be able to, at some point very, very soon, uh, be able to connect up this second hydropower plant, and both of these hydropower plants will be able to exclusively, or, well, fairly exclusively, manage to export resources and power to the... Uh, to the border over there, which is quite exciting indeed. Actually, really quite happy with the way that that turned out. Right, how's the big old road coming? Big old road's coming along fine. Uh, it's really th this sort of area that I'm I'm curious to see how this all ends up. There's construction being undertaken on the factory connections, the forklift road crossings. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is far and away the, the biggest construction of, of any area thus yet attempted. In fact, I don't even think that I've linked this area up to a road. Uh, let's demolish that back. Take this out here. Yep. And connect that up over there. Wonderful. Get that zoned. Uh, I'm already out of dollars, but that's okay. My train's going to be arriving at some point soon. I'm pretty sure that I'm still bringing in enough dollars through, you know, the wonderfully wealthy tourists in order to fund the important the important import of food at the Turistovsky shopping center don't quote me on that i'm sure that we've you know had some issues there before but yeah, for now it seems to all be working just fine look at this a hundred percent of the storage is filled that is wonderful that is looking really really good i'm i'm pretty i'm pretty chuffed with that actually we have managed to overproduce steel in a major major way i am unbelievably surprised that, that has actually ended up happening yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on there's a lot of stuff going on okay let me just check the construction range real quick yeah the construction range is highly limited at this moment in time because there is no there is no other way to access this facility i wonder if perhaps i connect up a dirt road over here then we're gonna be able to start work on some additional constructions. Yeah, so a couple of, you know, uh, dirt roads that can help can help with access. Does that make any difference? Um, no, not really, actually. This is basically the extent of the range, at least using the old route. As soon as we get the direct connection up and running, then it's going to massively extend the, uh, the boundary of the construction offices, which is, I mean, tremendously exciting. Very, very excited to see what happens there. I kind of just want to get this built, though. I kind of want to get this built. Where the flippin' egg? Where the flippin' egg is my steel train? I, I've been I've been procrastinating, but all this time I was kind of hoping that the steel train would just go and make me a, you know, a hell of monies. Uh, that's a new truck that's available. That's kind of nice. Oh, gosh darn. It always it always happens. Okay, you you turn around. Let me see. Is it maybe worth us sending the steel train all the way over here instead? I almost feel like it is. Just because this just because this uh this customs house can support so few vehicles. I can it can literally support one singular vehicle. It's pretty embarrassingly bad. Like geez, just build a bigger customs house here already. Like I'm happy to trade. Just let me. Let me trade. I, I want to trade. Uh, but there we go. There we go. That's 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 where we are. Uh, right. Dollar loans. About to repay that one. Nowhere near on any of the other loans. It's a five-year loan is at 7.4% interest. That's way higher than what I've got at the moment. But I think that that's actually going to come down if I pay off if I pay off all of my overdue fees. At least that's the that's the plan. Uh, we're continuing to see our rate of ruble interest climb as well as uh, the fact that we've got 300,000 rubles that are overdue at this moment in time which is a terrifying prospect and yeah I'm not in love with that actually not in love with that at all there we go we're back back to normal still 7.5 percent rate of interest hmm hmm indeed hmm indeed not entirely sure how we tackle that one. But you know what I do know? Keep making steel. That's that's what I do know. Keep making freaking steel 
and and I'll keep making money. I mean, look, we're making money. If we didn't have all of the loans, we'd be we'd be sitting pretty. But the reality is, is that we do have all of these loans, and uh, and we're not sitting pretty. <laughs> we're not sitting pretty. We're sitting in a very very dangerous position. Uh, also, I'm thinking. You know what's kind of crazy is that we might legitimately be able to support. Also, this does not have any power supply. Uh, why is that the case? We categorically should have more power than we do. Hmm. I feel like maybe a lack of consistent power supply is slightly problematic when loading the boats because it means that we're not able to get... Not able to get the amount of power out that we need to. Does this need to be a better cable? What can this transport? 0 0.65? Is, have I just done the... Yeah, I've just done the, the most lame cable here. Yeah, I think when we're loading two boats, we're probably going to need to get a bigger cable. That is... That is my bet. Estimated maximum consumption is 0 0.91. Yeah, and we've only got a 0 0.65 voltage cable in here. Let me replace that cable, actually. We can we can do that fairly easily. Okay, drag, 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 all the way back to there. And we just grab... I will grab, you know, this one. I never really used this cable. This is a new cable. Well, relatively new in the history of the game. There we go. What is that? 20,000 rubles? $20,000? I'll take that. That's That's fine. There we go. And that should give us that should give us plenty of wattage spare so that we're able to load up just that little bit faster. Which, believe it or not, I do actually think is necessary. Uh, still, still, all of these aluminium boats, these bauxite boats, are they're making us so much money. I mean, it doesn't look like it because we're constantly out of rubles. But the reason that we have rubles coming in probably right now is because I would wager that we're probably exporting. We're probably exporting a boat of uh, boat of bauxite. In fact, it's it's worth uh, it's worth checking. Look at that. We're exporting bitumen and we're exporting raw bauxite and processed bauxite and power. And still, we're not we're not in a, a super good financial situation. Look, just goes to show how unbelievably how unbelievably dicey things are when it comes to loans. Looks like the power situation is a little bit more secure now, which is great. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's great, actually. So the raw bauxite is being loaded. Processed bauxite is being loaded. Building is without power supply, but that's a lie, obviously, because it does have power supply. That's fine. This this area is being constructed. It's being constructed fairly slowly, but it's, but it's okay. Uh, okay. Right, 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 right. I cannot believe, by the way, that the big dock was actually able to be built, but that is what it is. Okay. We are just waiting for, like, the last few deliveries the last few i don't know polishing polishing touches finishing touches oh new vehicle available il38 well maybe we can acquire the the license for that why do i need to pay a license fee in order to in order to build uh in order to build soviet vehicles it seems very anti-soviet you know but at the same time it seems very soviet uh is this facility built i would really like to to build this like as soon as i possibly can Oh, I see what the issue is here. All right, build that, and then build that. It costs 750, 750 uh, rubles to build. I don't know why I didn't just build that in the first instance. Anyway, uh, scrap that as the destination. Add this as the destination. There we go. And is this... Yep, both are within walking distance. Nothing else is within walking distance, which is great. You should go to here. Go there right now, please. Go there right now, please, so that we can get two hydroelectric power plants up and running at the same time. This hydro power plant is maxed out. Is it maxed out because there is nobody working in the coal power plant? Yep, that is absolutely categorically the case. And I am unbelievably embarrassed that there is nobody that is able to work in the coal power plant. This is just mortifying. Oh, it's just so embarrassing. It's just so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing when my power just runs out. Anyway, the good news is, the good news is, is that we can now crank this. We can crank this up to max here, right? And we shouldn't have any issues. We shouldn't theoretically have any issues. We 
We are maxing out the, the second hydro power plant, which is a little bit worrying. But in saying that, we are exporting a solid 18 megawatts of power. Uh, the other solution to this, by the way, is to... Um, is to add... In fact, no, I think this should be fine. I think it should be fine. We're, 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 we're doing just, we're doing just grand here. We're doing just grand here. You know what? Let's double down. Let's stay the course. I'm sure that we're not going to be having power cuts over the entirety of the, of the empire shortly. I'm sure it'll be fine. Look, this is all just a temporary solution until we get the, the big boy online as well, so to speak. Uh, when the big boy is online, then, I mean, we're, we're hopefully going to be sorted. But, I mean, that doesn't really fix our problems unless, of course, we're able to... Unless, of course, we're able to, to build some uh, some power cables to, to disseminate that power, so to speak. Uh, anyway, bauxite's still coming in. That's good. Uh, dollars. How did I lose dollars this month? How did I lose dollars this month? It's because we haven't had a big old delivery. Because we haven't had a big old delivery of steel. That's what I'm waiting for. Three million overdue. I kind of hate that, actually. Kind of hate that. Let's... Let's go unload right now. Let's go unload right now. Yeah, I need to I need to finish construction of this plant to be honest, but I don't really have the money for it and I don't really want to I don't really want to build it right now either. This is looking okay. It's fine. It's going to take a little while for the the trains to clear here before the steel train's going to be able to get through, but that's that's fine. Look, at the end of the day, the primary objective, the primary objective for today was to try and get this area up and running. Try and at least make a start on building some of the important infrastructure uh, that is going to allow us to turn steel, aluminium, all of these advanced products into, into planes uh, and boats and trains and freaking everything. And I'm really, really excited about that. Now, the other thing, I did say that there was a couple of things that I wanted to get done over the course of the episode. Uh, of course, building this monstrosity took uh, significantly longer than I anticipated, which, you know, just happens, I guess. That's the way that I operate. Uh, but the point is, the point is, is that I do still... Oh, hold on. Let me see. I'm still importing food. That's that's fine. Um, yeah. I do still need to get a bespoke town developed implemented, built. Uh, I do need to still get a bespoke town for building chemicals. Now, I've had a little thought. I've had a little thought about where we do that. I've had a little thought about how we do it. Uh, we'll be, you know, undoubtedly focusing on it in the next episode, or indeed perhaps the episode after that. I don't know. Look at that. That looks like the steel train has uh, successfully arrived, which is, which is brilliant. If we could get this road finished today, then that would be excellent. 50, 50 workers, 50 work days left. That's fine. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's get it built. And then let's see the range. Let's see the range just extend as soon as we get... As soon as we get this road done. It's going to make a colossal difference, actually. Anyway, yes. Chemicals. We want to do chemicals. That's definitely something that I'm that I'm determined to do. There we go. Look at that. Immediately, we're able to start building a whole bunch of additional uh, buildings at the same time. Which is very, very exciting indeed. Uh, none of this is really going to stretch us, to be honest, I don't think. 500 tons of concrete, gravel, asphalt, none of that's a problem. None of that's a problem. I'm really not bothered by anything that I see there. We got plenty of steel, we got plenty of bricks, we got plenty of prefab panels. Uh, we got plentiful amounts of pretty much everything, actually. Uh, plentiful amount of asphalt, plentiful amount of concrete. It's just a case of making sure that we have enough gravel, which is a little bit more difficult to orchestrate because uh, gravel's a little bit of a pain in the backside to, to move uh, unless you're moving it by train, which we are absolutely not. We are moving it by by truck, and that is taking a pretty significantly long time. But that's okay. That's fine. That's, that's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't particularly matter. Not not for now, anyway. This area is is where we're is where we're focused on. And to be honest, once we get past the the roads and the forklift crossings and whatnot, we'll be. We'll be on to we'll be on to the the start of construction of the airplane production line, 
which is is huge it's huge is crazy is is bonkers but i'm really 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 looking forward to doing that and then subsequent to that we're going to get onto the vehicle production line then the railway production line and then the freaking dry dock and then i need to build a massive artificial river to this lake and then i need to connect up the lake holy cow that's that's going to be bonkers i i don't know how i'm going to do that i'm get, definitely going to do that off camera uh, for sure. Anyway, look at this. We have made an obscene amount of money over the course of October. Uh, I feel pretty confident, actually. I feel pretty confident going into this winter. Look at that. Hardly any deaths, loads and loads of births, a couple of escapes, but that's fine. A couple of people are, uh, are living with their parents, but that is not a problem for today. The finances are fine. The start of a brand new working area is, is also fine. That's looking really, really good. Everything is looking up, folks. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Workers and Resources of Soviet Republic. My name, of course, has been Open to Potato. Thanks as ever to the fantastic support over on the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Open Potato. Thanks to Banana and Ananas, he sent by Ad Aurelio from the $325 plus tier patrons. Thank you for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.